Hello, I'm back with House of Torment. Um, haven't played in a while, so I am dying to try out the Forgotten Viaduct. I was starting as the Swordsman, considering that's the uh, hero I suppose I know best. Uh, let's see, we have the bucket, we have the skills, we have a hand, and we have some old geezer. Let's have a look at the old geezer then, shall we? No idea who that's supposed to be. Be a new character. Uh, so with the tech speed, it's always nice to uh, ramp up a bit at the start. Crit, never bad. Okay, actually it is sometimes bad. Because there are some skills that don't actually crit. The mobs are pretty tough here. High base health. Suppose they are armored. No idea if that's uh, gonna change in any of the other waves. Uh, the area cone size is nice, considering the swordsman has a area of effect. So more people hitting. I think it's um, piercing is like a hundred or so. You don't really have to worry about uh, hitting more targets that you can pierce with your cone. So, hello, we have ranged guys. Not too hard though. Uh, sure, let's just go for crit bonus. Get that stacked up early. Oh, I'm vulnerable. I don't really need that, do I? I suppose it's moving speed. And uh, we can just waltz through those fellas. Um, these are all not fantastic options. So I might actually pick the health, considering we have the item. The more health you lose, the more damage you do. So it's good to have high health. Assuming they didn't change it, yes, it's still the same. Yeah, the higher health you have, the more health points you can actually lose, and the more damage you'll be doing. And just 5% crit for your main weapon. Oops. Oh well. XP. I suppose. So it's completely fine to actually take some damage, so we do more damage. Um, again, I guess the range isn't bad, sure. Let's go for the weapon range. Makes it a bit more safe as well. And just hitting more people in general. There we go, attack speed and 10% damage. That is pretty sick. Um, these seem pretty tough as well. Just a little less strong, I suppose. Max health. What the? Poor guy's locked up in the... <laughs> okay, let's free him. And let's kill him. Well, I suppose he's kind of already dead, being a skeleton. A little pensive. Playing a skeleton, they are already dead. No idea. That range, I suppose? So it will also help with some of the other skills we might pick up later. Oh uh, yeah, first boss. Tough guy. Doesn't really seem to do anything special. Just waddle. Which, for some people, could be special, I suppose. Not for him. Uh, sure, that's to the area. Bit better of a chance to hit him. Not sure if it's better to auto aim or not. And uh, what's the button for auto aim? There we go, it's a bit better so I can actually focus my attacks on the boss. And have the other ones as collateral damage. Oh yeah, we were walking towards the old geezer. No, what the hell? Why? I don't want that. Right, let's go with crit. This range you can also uh, just hit them at far range and not be in any danger at all. Almost like you're an archer. Why do I have sweet symbol above my head? No idea. Oh, that might be the revive actually. Oh shoot, that's yeah, fine. I accidentally picked up a uh, hand. Could just start up with the strength, just pure damage. Why not? These are all not fantastic. Let's do some more health then. Uh, attack speed, sweet. Yeah, it's gonna be more levels. Um, nothing interesting. I'm gonna go for pickup range just for the convenience of it. 
Oof. Uh, tough choice. Well, since we already have attack speed unlocked, it will come back. Not sure about the weapon provinces. They might actually change. This one's actually pretty good. I'm just killing off the masses so I get the attack speed boost from... Um, is that the crown? I believe so. That gets you attack speed based on the enemies you've killed in the last 5 seconds. Which is this guy... 1% attack speed for 5 seconds for each killed enemy. Up to a 50%, which is insane. Uh, crit damage and bone size, which is really nice, but... I feel like the AoE is pretty fine already, so we could just go for 10% strength, 10% damage in general, which will also apply to all the other uh, weapons we find. Uh, I think we're almost at the geezer. He was actually called Old Geezer now, that would be fantastic. We almost killed this guy, so we almost have a first skill. <laughs> that took a while. Do we kill this guy before we uh, meet the old guy? Sure, let's just get him. Oh, now you guys turn around. Sure, I'll kill y'all. What the hell is that? Bats? Um, I suppose from these lightning strikes are probably best. Assuming it hasn't been changed too much. Oh, hello. What are you doing there, dude? Quite carefully, my friend. Those scribblings keep the wraiths at bay. While running from those creatures, I have lost the only thing that could get me out of this precarious situation. My potion flask. If you could retrieve it for me, somewhere further north found, I would be forever in your debt. I shall... Rafik the copper. Rafik, I shall. Uh, sweet. Um, oof. Not a fan of either of them. I think I'll go for the Dragon's Breath. It lights them on fire, which is kind of cool. This is just too small of a size. And by the time it goes off, usually people around you are already dead. And the Golem? I don't know. I don't know at all. Yeah, the wave is uh, pretty nice. You can aim them with, like a line of those guards. That's pretty sick. Um, well, I can just go for strength in general. Since we have multiple abilities now, it stacks up nicely for all of it. Please remember to actually aim at uh, the mobs now that I have that turned on. No forgetty. How was that? Much gold. How do you even le lose a flask? Blah. How do you even lose a flask like that? Uh, we can go for critical damage and cone width or multi hit. I guess this is like the true 10% damage increase because everyone will, everything will just do 10% more attacks, which, you know, in the end, no matter the on hit effects, no matter the attack speed will just be 10% extra damage. Which is nice. Anyway, it's crowded here. Do it a lightning upgrade. There you Ooh, what the hell is that? Horseman. Horseman and friends. Uh, attack speed, or... Let's go for attack speed, considering I have three attacks now. Oh, hello. We found the thing. Let's go back to the old geezer. Also smack... Oh, shoot. Smacking the horse. That's me where I sat. That's me where I sat. Can I reach him? Maybe. Um, additional flame walls might be nice. Uh, let's go for crit bonus. Is the flame wall crit? Maybe. Flame wall cannot crit. I mean, it can, but doesn't do any additional damage. <clears throat> no point leveling crit for the flame wall specifically. Jeez, the guy's a lot of health and he's moving around like a mud trucker. Which is really annoying. 
Gonna be hard to actually kill the guy. Oh, found those. Don't mind me. Um. Ah, oh, yeah, I guess I'll go for the main weapon then. Hello. Like this. Oh no. Dodged. Uh, sure, let's up the crit a bit. One horse, man, get closer. I dare you. Ow. Jeez, that shit crits hard already. Uh, from all these options, they all suck. Let's just go for the size. Should also increase the flame wall. Ow. Why is the lightning still only doing 100 damage? Could it be doing more? Oh, no, no, no. It's the electrocute. Gotcha. Hello, guy. My hopes were not in vain. Thank you, my dear friend. Please take good care of yourself, so we shall meet again in safety above. Nice. A uh, new NPC unlocked. No idea what he does. Enter the Forgotten Viaduct and rescue the cupbearer. That's what we did. Uh, sure, let's go with Fire Affinity, why not? Where's my horse at? No. Oh. Ask for a horse, you get a horse. And his friends. He's actually almost dead, to be honest. He seemed to be very tanky. In the end, wasn't all that bad. Uh, there we go, lightning. Oh no, that's the shitty one. I don't really care about the stun. Uh, 0.1 additional taxes. 10% more attacks for... Well, actually more. For the main weapon. Considering the rest kind of sucks, I'll just go for it. Um, weapon, 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 weapon. Here, uh, attack speed. So we've gone from 1 attack per second to 2.1 attacks per second. Which is pretty sweet. Horse, there you go. Defeat the Wraith Horseman. Sweet. An item, oh, we're kind of full on items. 5% uh, damage for each enemy in your pickup range. Eh. Is that a necklace? Probably. Thumbs a rat every two seconds. Rats bite up to ten random enemies, applying five debuff at random. Ha, huh, that is interesting though. Might want to uh, put it in the stash. Transform the damage type of your main weapon into fire. That could be nice. But I do believe that the rings I have now are a lot better. So I'm gonna put these in my bag. Probably gonna bring it up the well. Purchase later. Might be nice for some kind of build. Some kind of debuff stacking build. Hey, another boss already. <laughs> See if we can quickly, relatively quickly, kill it. Got some flame walls at him, so he uh, gets burned. It's already taking for 50 each. Ah, uh, take down. Hello. Oh Jeez. These pets are pretty healthy. Uh, additional flame walls. Or just in general crit, but the flame walls don't crit, so. Eh. Sure, let's just go for it. This lightning most definitely crits. And crits hard. There we go. Uh, Transfiction is really good. Unless I nerfed this. I didn't really check patch notes. Uh, there we go. That's the one. That's really sick. Uh, so 20% damage and 20% crit damage. And stun range, which I don't care about. So, the thing with lightning is that it has a 200% crit bonus by default. So adding 20% to that is actually 40% damage. So that's gonna stack up real high. Gonna get some real good numbers. Hard to um, filter them out, but trust me on that. Uh, damage and attack speed, sure. I don't want to focus too much on AoE, considering I have no idea what kind of bosses there's gonna be. It's uh, yeah, single target. If you don't have it, you're not gonna kill bosses. Especially if they're timed. Ooh, potion. I could use that actually. Even though I'll be doing less damage then. I am kind of on the low side. I think I'll pick up the hand because I probably missed a lot of experience. Uh, 
Uh, that's kind of shitty, the stun range. Let's just go for the flammability. Where is my bucket at? Did we go? Oh, there's a hand there. Oh, I just literally randomly pick up a hand. Um, so, 0.4 additional strikes is a lot. That's a lot more damage than 5% damage. So, I'm gonna go for that. You can see it in the top right, charging up. Pretty quick. Um, here, let's go for damage overall. That's some uh, 66 base damage, minus 50% electrified chance. So the electrify is like 100 damage per tick. Uh, base damage is pretty sick. So 66 base damage would crit up to what's like 180 something, plus even more now that we have more crit damage. Like at least 200 damage for crits extra, or we could just in general go for more damage and more crit chance. Or 25% attack speed. That is really sick as well. It's just gonna zap. I think I'm gonna go for this zapping. And see how quickly it stacks up here. That is pretty sweet. And Dragon's Breath also attack speed. Sure, why not? Get some more walls going. Could also somewhat knock them out. Jeez, experience is still coming in. Uh, crit damage, yes. Please. Oh, I think it's the advanced flame wall that actually does the knockback, which is fine. Maybe we'll get it at some point. There's the hand. Don't really want it at the moment, but the well is near as well. <laughs> as well. Sure, let's do some attack speed. In case we get the knockback, that's not bad. Uh, we put this one in the well, and we can purchase it outside for permanent usage. Let's go to the south to get the other ability. So at this point, getting an extra ability with all the bonus you already have is just insane. Uh, I'm gonna leave that there. In case we have a boss, I don't need it for the trash at all. Jeez, the flame walls can turn super huge already. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go for more flame walls. Go sure, why not? There's a boss. Uh, might as well get the uh, Berserk then. If we can reach it before he's dead. Wow, he's gonna die so hard. Jeez, fire is also stacking up real on something. Uh, enemies stunned by lightning strikes have a 50% chance to get electrified. Hmm, not sure about that. Instead of emitting a single moving wave of fire, Dragon's Breath emits a quick but continuous stream of fire. That's interesting, I've never seen that one before. That sounds... Oh, wow. Whoa. That also does the burn, that is pretty sick. I think that is actually a really good one. Let's uh, build into it a bit more. Take this. Take this, take this. Burn. Flame drawer. Nice. Never seen this one before. Could be new. Is there another hand? Oh no, it's a hand at the start. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Oof. Tough guys though. Does this still even do fire damage? No idea. I guess I might die before they even get burned. Potentially. Yeah, if you get massive groups, this one is sweet. Uh, yeah, let's just go for more lightning charges. Look at the speed it's charging up now. That is pretty sweet. How much does it hit for? Maybe we can catch one out. You can see that one. And you can see that one either. It's 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 doing damage. I mean, you can also check it in the stats. Uh, shall we go for the attack speed, or do we want one fifth extra attack? The main attack is pretty sick, but this might actually end up being our most damage done. Um, so lightning strike, about 500 damage. It crits for an additional 3.5-ish times, so that would be an additional like 1700 damage. So this crits for like up to 2000. Which is not bad, if you ask me. What the hell are these guys? Oh! 
like weeping whatchamacallum. If you look at them, they don't move. Which is fine. I can do that. Except if they come from both sides. What? Oh. They barely take damage if you... You too. Poke them in the bot. Whoa, how do you... Do with those? Need to have attacks that don't face them then. Pure burn chance, why not? Because burn still seems to tick for them. No idea. Whee! Oh, interesting. Uh, hopefully we get the transfiction upgrade that shoots backwards as well, because that would really work for these guys. Never seen that enemy before. Kinda scary. I guess they might have very low health, because I do kill him. 30% uh, base damage or 20 base damage. 20 base damage, I cannot percentage. Um, that's a good question, to be honest. Because with all the base damage we have done, if we have 50% additional damage, then this would already be better. Is that correct? I think I say that completely wrong. I ain't good at math. Let's go with this one. Higher numbers, right? Higher number, better number. That's how that works. Yeah, those uh, statues are annoying. Luckily, don't have much health. See, you just melt through them anyway. Even though it's just one damage. Uh, sure, let's go for extra health. Which means I will do extra damage in general. Um, let's go for the heal scroll and see what we get. Oh, it's a boss. Oops. Enemy stomach. Well. I don't know what the honors mean. Because my electrified damage was already a bit down, isn't it? And this, this is only good if you have like huge masses of enemies. But whatever, I don't care. Oh, it's like a imp. An imp. Uh, ooh, what the hell? He does do something special. Getting kind of crowded here. Not fun. Uh, range should help on the flamethrower as well. <laughs> Look at the little fella. We what do we have? What the hell is this? Memorizing bottle. When retrieved and bought, allows the cup bearer to increase the amount of available potions of memory. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Now the well is already used. Hey, another boss. What the hell? What the? A frosty boss? Well, I am Fireman. You think he takes more damage from fire? Maybe. I do know it's getting pretty crowded here. Point to a national attacks or the also. Hmm, 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 hmm. I think this one is actually better. One fifth. One in five attacks was an additional attack. Maybe. I don't know. Ooh. Scary. Jeez, I can't see his attacks because of my flames. Okay, time to uh, get out of here for a second. Uh, very low on health. Uh, additional projectiles is really good. I uh, wouldn't mind a hand. I'm just gonna... Run it for the. Oh! So damage. Let's see if we can finish off the boss then. That would be nice. There we go. Defeat the Frost Knight. 40% summon spawns, 40% summon duration, 20% summon damage. Uh, base crit chance. Spawns shadows near you that damage enemies and increase your block strength. This one is nice for attack a summon set. Um, I wonder what counts as summon, so no idea. But, yeah, can't retrieve that because I already used the well. That's kind of shit. I didn't know. Oh, well, at least I got a rat ring. Ooh, more projectiles. Don't mind if I do. Uh, we're, we're going to the hand. Jeez, got 15 minutes left. 
Did this level have an extra time? No idea. Did not pay attention. There we go. Now sound the nice sound of skellies dying. Crispy, dirty skellies. Kind of nice having an edge here. At least I know I won't be attacked from the back. Cool. Oh, the fire is so laggy. It's uh, kind of annoying. Oh, there we go. Picked up a hand. Um, base damage or range and area or in general. Um, I think I'll go with this one. 0.25. No idea what that means. Let's see how many levels we get from this. Attacks with just please. Uh, quick chance or quick damage? I'm gonna go for quick damage. Just the lighting just does insane crits then. Uh, 50% attack speed? Yes, please. Let's see if we can catch out a lightning strike crit. Additional projectiles? Don't mind it. Ooh, 2669 for a lightning strike crit. That's a fair bit of damage. Let's uh, up that a bit. Why don't we... I don't know how many strikes it does per uh, rotation. It's definitely more than one. Jeez, look at the muscles. And they're gone. Yeah, my main ability is also... Oh, shoot. Getting surrounded there. Uh, Electro chance. Not really care about that. Because if it's in ba 50 base damage, that's a lot. Next speed is just... Pure win. Wow, freaking shooting gargoyles. Sure, let's take a hand. Got plenty of hands on the map. Seems like they're really up the rate for hands. Hans, they, they increase the Hans rate. Hans is showing up more often. That's what the patch note said. Uh, attack speed or 40% on crit chance. What? What's that supposed to mean? Plus 40% on crit chance. That does like special shit? No idea. Uh, let's go for 15% attack speed, that's pretty sick. Oof, getting surrounded. That's fine. I got this. Just burn my way through. Last my burner, mounted in front of my head. Jump, jump, jump. Eating through the skellies. There's nothing else on the map, right? It's just the hands. I don't really care for that. Uh, in general, attack speed? Why not? Did I do extra damage to the ghosties now? No idea. Let's just kill some monsters. Oh, healing. Nice. Do I never do? Yeah, but these monsters it would have been nicer to have certain different abilities, but this is chopping through it easily as well. Just a bit more risky, I suppose. Uh, 66 base damage. Yes, please. Let's see if we can catch out a crit. Let's see how much it crits for now. Uh, I can't really see any. Who knows, it's just not gonna crit anymore. 3,500, I think I saw. Yeah, 3,500 something. That's very nice. That just mm, does so much work on bosses. If there's like no trash, just bosses, it's insane. Okay, the muscles forts are kind of gone. You just, you know, stand on this side of the corkscrew. Oh, are you a boss? Yes. And all you do is triple shooting. That's not really scary, to be honest. I can do that. Easy. Burn your face off. How much is the burn stacked up? Can't even see too many numbers. Uh, crit chance, stun range, don't care. More flame walls? No idea how that works for disability then. Let's just go for temps and damage. Not bad at all. Oh, not ability. Jeez. Ah, that one is really sick. Uh, when a lightning strike deals... That is also not bad, considering I do increase fire damage, I believe. 
But this is basically just doubling the damage of this. Um, I don't know how much damage it is, though. Crook hits deal normal damage times one. Yeah, I know, that's obvious. But my question is, how much does the fire do? Eh, I know that this basically doubles my damage, so I'm gonna go for that. I need to uh, change my aim then. So I hit something useful at least. Let's pick up a hand. Why not? Uh, not much useful. A little bit defensive. Why not? Crit damage and crit chance. Uh, general damage and crit damage. That is really nice. Uh, so yeah, this one is upping fire damage for everything. So if we ever do get another skills slot, I might go for the lightning one. Because then it'll do fire damage as well. Oh, okay, that wasn't exactly uh, many levels. Still 10 minutes to go. Insane. Uh, more projectiles. That is pretty nice, considering we now have double. Makes me wonder what's going to do the most damage. Lightning strike, main attack, or um, the zappies. Transfiction. Kill 5 times enemies with one visit of the Forgotten Fighter. Sure. And this is the first time this guy's here. Sweet. Um, good move towards the hand and not take a chance. Taking good care of the enemies. Um, cone size, don't really care about that anymore. More want the single target stuff. Increase or more health and movement speed. Because we don't have more fire than just the firewalls just yet. Ow. Oh yeah, we also have some extra pick range. Yeah, how am I supposed to get that? I'm supposed to, yeah. I survived the Garden Verdict until there are only 10 minutes left. Sweet. Maybe a lot of gold after this. Got a fair bit of achievements. Although not all achievements um, give gold. Some will give like abilities and stuff. Chance to unlock a little bit of this, which is also fine. Uh, there's a berserk thingy there. I'll save it for a boss. Because these guys don't deserve it. They're easy. Uh, more flame walls. No idea what the dusk with what I have now. Burn chance is not bad. Yeah, sure. Let's go for burn chance. Because it is um, basically just as good for a single target as it is for AoE. So, yeah. I'm not trying to focus my level up points on single target now. Just to make sure I can actually kill bosses. Hello there, bats. Get smoked. I think the flamethrower reached further than it looks like. Potion, sure, just to get some insurance help. Uh, whoa, another. That's sick. Look at that charge up now. And it still does. Uh, catch one out. Can't see, man. Too much shit going on. Oh yeah, it does damage. It does damage. 4202. Jeez. That's insane. I already forgot where the preserve thing is. Absolutely no clue. Guess we'll just spray around a bit here. We might never do. 50% uh, attack speed, that is nice, considering we can fire backwards and forwards. Um, is there any point turning on the auto-aim? No idea. Doesn't really matter. Spraying every single side anyway. Could use an additional hand. Oh, I saw a boss. What are you? Ow. Um, am I supposed to uh, hit him in the face? Isn't he gonna split up his uh, hats? Uh, range and area, or in general? Hmm. I think the range on this one is nice. We don't have to stand too far. Ooh! What? Hat came off. Sir! 
Jeez, it's really hard to dodge. The, the, the flamethrower just hides so much of the attacks. I can't see shit. Okay, I'm gonna hack off a bit here, because it's getting a bit too crowded. I think my revive is gonna pop soon. Oh, hello. Yeah, if I can get him before he gets me, at least. Yes, I can. Okay, um, healing a bit. Get rid of these guys so I can pick up whatever that is. It's just a chest, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So many items I can't use. Uh, leave a trail of goo. Enemies that touch the goo slow down. Uh, not really. Oh, killing... Hmm. That's not bad, but how often do you realistically kill a boss or elite? Uh, I do have this one already retrieved. Not retrieved, not retrieved. Not that it matters, considering I can't... If anything anymore. Oh, now the backwards is fantastic because now you can actually shoot the uh, scary woman's. Um, I will go for some health though. Getting dangerously low. Wait, they don't take damage if you shoot them when they're facing you? Pieces just right through them. Did you see that? Sneaky. Did it take crit damage? Seems crits do hit them. Why? That would be a wave of these enemies. That's not fun. Come on. Come on. Don't do this to me. Ooh. Maybe just walking backwards is good for those. Oh my god. What is this? Can I even kill those things? I don't think so. I think this is just gonna create an area where I'll have to uh, face the end boss. Which I don't like. I like my space. Thank you. Jeez. These are tough buggers, aren't they? Seems the wave is over, though. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Um, hmm. Let's just go for more defense. I'm kind of scared, to be honest. Oh, hello. He's given ability, no an item. Jeez, look at him die. Good thing. That's an ability, sweet. Uh, adds shots in the backwards. What? I already have that. Do you get double the amount then? Let's try. Wait, what? And an item. Okay, but... <laughs> I can't retrieve any of that. Even w Whoa, look at that! It's short! Oh my god! That's insane! Um, even if I could... Oh wait, no, I was gonna say... Now my entire inventory is full. Whoa, another boss! Get quickly get rid of this guy. This is too much stuff on the screen. Another ability. Sick. Uh, I don't really care much for the knockback. Although, if the knockback also applies to what we have now, maybe they can just push him back. I don't have problems with that, though. Um, sure, let's go for the frig blades. Why not? Should do at least some damage now, right? This means the upgrades are going to be a lot for the ring blades, which is fine. Sure, let's just upgrade the ring blades then. Let's see what happened to the wall. If it's still there. Give people wall. I don't think so. Odd. Okay, it's there. Let's see if we can. He can! At least it looks like he can damage them. Yeah, he can. But I don't think. They want to die. Shoot us. Just do a backwards fire on those while we do a forwards fire on. Well, forward. Let's see if that uh, ever gets through. So I do want a hand on this side. So much egg marks to go. 50% range, I guess? Will also increase their lifespan? No idea. Let's go in the corner, although, like this, it shoots a lot of projectiles in useless directions. That's not really good. 
I have no idea if he can kill those ghosties. They do take damage. Man, do they have health. Holy moly. Yeah, I don't think you can kill those. What the hell? That's pretty insane. Um, do we have extra fire? No, we don't. Movement speed, maybe? Nah, let's just go for more. Eh. Sure, movement speed it is. I wonder if you can pass them at some point. I have no idea how much damage to do. I'm not gonna risk that even though I still have my revive. Don't wanna risk that. I'll let someone else figure that one out. Dang, the flamethrower. Uh, sure, let's go for more attack speed. It's really pretty insane. Damn, look at the goal. How many attacks do we have per second now for lightning strike? Uh, 1.2 per second. And there is like... How many projectiles does it do? It doesn't really show here. Oh, here it does. 3.52. But... Is that based on the base? Because I'm pretty sure by default it already has multiple projectiles. And that is called one projectile. Oh well, it does damage. Let's just uh, stick to that. Um... Sure, yeah, I don't know what else to do. Might as well try and make this do some damage as well. Hey, I can actually... Oh, I was going to say I can pass, but not really. Partially. Jeez. Kill 10,000 enemies in one visit. Yeah, I bet. Insane. Oh, two minutes left. Okay. Uh, I really want a hand. So I imagine, hey, that's my Berserk thing. You might as well try and catch it now. Considering it's not gonna happen any other time. Oh, now I can maybe... Which side did I already attack? Hmm. I don't think that's gonna happen. Maybe they just have an insane amount of health. Maybe it's an achievement to kill one of them, but I don't think it's useful. Not for me in this situation. Where I am already struggling. Not really though, not really struggling. I wonder when we're gonna see the wall from the other side, because I imagine they're just trying to push you to uh, survive the Forgotten Paradox until there's only two minutes left. Gotcha! Can we pass yet? No, we cannot. Uh, let's go for base health. 15 on health, that's pretty nice. Jeez, them projectiles. It's just a shame though, because with the boss, the project is flying backwards. Probably not gonna be that useful. Considering he's not gonna be behind me, or at least I'm gonna try and not have him behind me. Maybe so huge that I'm gonna hit him everywhere. I don't think so, but you never know. Hey, that's uh. Pochon. More Pochon, nice. Um. Fire area, fire damage burn, sure. Why not? What's that? Projectiles flying around. Uh, invincibility, gonna save it. I don't need it now. Got a minute left for the boss. Give me a hand here. Oh no. No hands for me. Already lost the invincibility thing. No idea what it is. Burn chance? Hmm. That might be sick though if it keeps stacking up. Sure. Why not? Oh, that's the other wall. Do you have to burn through it to survive? No idea. How far is the one wall now? I could take the invulnerability and boost through it. <laughs> if that works. That would be fun. To be honest. I can, I can try that, sure. Just do want to see the wall first. Uh, blade size, damage, cone size, sure. Where's my wallet? Where is my wallet? I don't want to end up losing my invulnerability by the time I actually reach it. It's getting closer. 
10 seconds for end of level. Oh shoot, I need to take it before it disappears into nothingness. Um, hmm, I guess I'll go for that. Okay, there we go. Keep an eye on it. Yeah, I can just walk through it. Okay. Hello. Jeez. You don't seem like a fun fella. I'm gonna go get the hand. Because it should be a few levels. To be honest. Uh, base damage? Yes, please. Not that. Sure. That's cheating. Ow. Whoa, he does have a bunch of health. I mean, what do you expect? The hand is so far away, isn't it? Jeez, so much experience here. Insane. Can try to actually keep the guy in screen. So my lighting does smack it. Uh, sure, why not? I need to move slow. It means I can get hit. I'm not getting it. Eh, it's not too bad. Ow. He says and instantly getting hit. Can we dodge this? No idea. What are your gravel hands? Don't grab me, I didn't give you permission for that. Oh, that's shit. These things also count as targets, so when lighting is like, yeah, sure, I'll smack it. Even though I imagine it's no point at all. Where are you, buddy? There you go. Hmm. Wait, did the experience disappear or is there just no experience here? Hope there's just no experience here. This guy got me some hell. Oh shoot, no. Turn around. Not good. Yeah, he didn't. Hey, the guy. What's up, sir? Oh, he's gone. Oh, then the hand can't be that far off. Probably, maybe, I don't know. There we go. Oh, wait, no, that's the boss. Ow. Oh, and the hand. And some other hands. There we go. Let's see if we can get some exp. Now we can fully focus on attacking and dodging. Oh my god, the X was gone. Never mind. It's not gone, it's just mega far away. That's halfway down, that's not bad. Uh, attack speed. Oh, a bait. What? Uh, okay, well, that's fine, because that means the burning will stack up more. It should be nice. Ooh, don't push me into your buddies. Uh, nothing is useful. I'm just gonna go for it. Defensive stuff? I don't know if this guy's got more up his sleeve. Um, yeah, I don't think this thing is gonna do much. Whatever. Better than none. Ow. Halfway done, we got this. Still have our revive, to be honest, so. I can't imagine not hitting this guy. Wonder what he unlocks. If anything. Yep. Getting a bit more scary to be honest. Although my damage is increasing a lot as well. Further I go down in health. Which is nice. Damage is what kills the balls. You heard it here first. Damage kills bosses. Okay, place your bets. Um, which attacks will have done the most damage? I really think it's Lightning Strike. Ooh, am I gonna proc the revive? No. I didn't see the achievement. 
Bam! Whoa! 5,000 gold just in general picked up here. That is insane. Uh, that's a cup bearer. Uh, unlocks character shield maiden. Oh, sweet. A new character. And gold, gold, and gold. So we have Transfiction did 6.1 million damage. Oh, wow. It's still... Oh, yeah. But I guess that makes sense considering we had like triple the amount of projectiles for that. 15,000 damage per second. Main weapon also a lot of damage. Uh, you do have to add up the lightning damage on top of this, but then it still is not even close. Okay. I uh, had that one wrong. And just for this ring being 1.6 million damage, that's insane. Hello. Whoa, so many people. Wait, what? Sorceress and a shield maiden. Where did we get the sorcerer from? No idea. Oh. Floating around. Kind of a shame that you can't uh, see their skills and stuff here. But that's fine. It is a great relief to see you again. My humble services will be forever at your disposal. They are the only thing that I can currently offer in return for my rescue, besides my eternal gratefulness. Services? I can supply you with beverages and potions that might increase your odds down in the halls. Nice. For now, a bottle of wine is all I can offer. But if you'd find the right ingredients and additional flasks, I could expand my repertoire. That's good. Uh, strong one allows you to re-roll the complete selection of traits when leveling up. Ah, uh, okay. Um, how often does that work though? The Goddess Charm from your stash can help you locate ingredients for new potions. Retrieving bottles through the well increases the available amount of potions. Okay, uh, sure. Well, um, that was the something viaduct, aqueduct, viaduct. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was any use, maybe. I don't know if I shouted anything useful, but uh, thanks for watching. Bye.